the Royal Tank Regiment Battle Group has been preparing for a deployment to Estonia at the British Army's Senelager Training Centre in northern Germany. Seven hundred and fifty soldiers are involved in the Operation Cabri rehearsals ahead of the next British led NATO battle group to go to Estonia in September. The battle group comprises of the Royal Tank Regiment Dreadnought Squadron, equipped with Challenger 2 main battle tank, C Company of the Royal Welsh, equipped with Warrior Armoured Infantry fighting vehicles in addition to elements of the Royal Artillery, Royal Engineers, Royal Army Medical Corps and the Royal Logistic Corps. The demanding exercises were an arduous mix of simulation, live firing in day and night, and field training exercises involving armor, infantry, artillery, engineers and a whole range of supporting capabilities fixed together to develop the level of competencies, capabilities and integration. The Royal Tank Regiment is the oldest tank unit in the world being formed by the British Army in 1916 during the First World War. Now, it is the armoured regiment of the British Army's 12th Armoured Infantry Brigade. Formerly known as the Tank Corps and the Royal Tank Corps, it is part of the Royal Armoured Corps. The regiment is equipped with Challenger 2 tanks and based at Tidworth coming under 12th Armoured Infantry Brigade following the Army 2020 refine. Unlike the other Type 56 Challenger 2 regiments, the the Royal Tank Regiment has an integrated chemical, biological, radiation and nuclear reconnaissance squadron operating the Fuchs reconnaissance vehicle. The Fuchs are six-wheeled, all-wheel drive, armoured vehicles which have been adapted into a protected platform. The Fuchs Agile Vehicle, which can travel at speeds of up to 100 km per hour, is operated by a four-strong team who are sealed in against hazardous environments and can establish the severity and location of any chemical or radiological threat. Brigadier Paddy Ginn, Commander 20 Armoured Infantry Brigade The Iron Fist, said, My brigade is also the force generation headquarters for Operation CABRIT deployments. The British contribution to Operations Cabri has just got better and better as time has gone on. We are now on the 7th rotation and preparing the 8th protection package. The beauty of this exercise is that we have the ability to stop, reset, go again. That's what training in combined arms manoeuvre warfare gives you. That's when the real mastery will come. Lieutenant Colonel Simon Worth, commanding officer of the Royal Tank Regiment said, The real value of Senelager is that it closely reflects the operating environment that we would expect to operate on in Estonia and therefore, for us, it provides an excellent kind of dry run rehearsal that will take us to where we need to be. Sergeant Richard John o. Johnson Training has been demanding but we are looking after each other, keeping up morale. Everybody understands what is expected of them and looking forward to the deployment. Fusilier William Stone R. Welsh joined the army seven months ago and experienced his first major exercise. It's great to get the experience of working together with other bits of the army, seeing it all come together. I am looking forward to my first deployment later in the year. The 2016 NATO summit in Warsaw set the conditions for the establishment of an enhanced forward presence in Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania and Poland to strengthen Euro-Atlantic security.
Operation Cabri is the name of the United Kingdom operational deployment to Estonia where British troops are leading a multinational battle group as part of the enhanced forward presence. The United Kingdom Armed Forces have a leading role in NATO's enhanced forward presence in the Baltic states, in order to enhance Euro-Atlantic security, reassure our allies and deter our adversaries. The enhanced forward presence in the Baltic states is a deployment of robust, multinational, combat-ready forces to Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania and Poland, on a persistent, rotational basis. The British personnel rotate on a continuous basis alongside Danish, French, and host nation Estonian forces.